Welcome to the asylum everybody, my name is Dr. Jadub and I really hope that you enjoy your stay here. So OBS just recently put out an update that included something called a dynamic bitrate. In this video we're going to show you how to enable that and we're going to talk a little bit about what bitrate actually is, what the dynamic bitrate actually is, and I actually did a little bit of it of an experiment uh, so that you can actually see you know, is this something that's going to help you, or is it something that might hurt you in the long run? That's coming up right now. Let's start the operation. So, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you how to enable it. What we're going to do is we're going to go down to Settings. Go to Advanced. And then scroll all the way down here until you see network and then it's actually your first option here dynamically change bitrate to manage congestion data you need to make sure that this is checked okay so that was painfully easy now just in case you don't know what bitrate is how it works what it does let me go ahead and explain that to you and then we're like i said we're also going to take a look at what the dynamic bitrate actually does so what is bitrate Bitrate is the number of bits, or as I like to think of it as the amount of data, that is being processed during a specific period of time, usually speaking in seconds when we're talking about streaming. For example, I keep my bitrate at 3000 kilobits per second. This means that for every second, my PC is pushing out 3000 kilobits of data. I'm going to give you a visualization. Think of the stream as a ball. Your bitrate is the size of that ball, and your network is the hole it needs to go through to be seen by your viewers. What makes it to the other side of the hole is what your viewers will actually see. During periods of normal network use, your ball will fit through the hole, no problem. Let's talk about what happens without the dynamic bitrate during periods where your network is congested. Going back to the ball in the hole example, high network congestion will make that hole small. And let's pretend like the hole is razor sharp. So the data that gets through is cut off into bits and pieces. This is why viewers experience lag and frame drops, it's because the streamer is pushing too much data out that their network can't handle. Now let's talk about what dynamic bitrate is going to do to help that. It'll decrease your bitrate so that the internet can handle it during congested times. Going back to the ball example, it'll make that ball smaller so that it fits through the hole as the entire ball, not just bits and pieces. This may or may not lower the quality of the stream slightly for that period of time. During my experimentation, I congested my network moderately. I had a few more devices connect to the internet than normal, and my bitrate would drop from 3000 to about 1500 give or take, which it's never actually done before. It's normal for bitrate to fluctuate, but that is a significant decrease, so I knew it was working. After a short break, I strained the network even more my bitrate actually went down to 300. This is obviously where I saw the largest quality drop. My stream looked terrible compared to what it normally is, but you know what? I never saw one frame drop. Obviously these numbers are going to be different for you depending on how strong your internet is, how congested your internet is, you know, all of these different factors are going to come into play. Alright, so hopefully that helped clarify everything for you. Now, if you're gonna ask, you know, should I use this? Well, it really depends on your streaming situation. If you stream in a house full of people, yeah, you might want to try it. I mean, just give it a shot. You know, you'll never know if you don't try, so go ahead, give it a shot. If it doesn't work, turn it off. I find this type of thing extremely helpful because, I mean, I live in a house of four people. There's three plus myself. So, my network experiences a lot of congestion. And so, having something that will automatically pick, pick that up and see, hey, your network is congested. And will automatically decrease the bitrate for, you know, however long it needs to be. That's really helpful. Um, but you know what, if you're living alone, or maybe you only have like one person, maybe a significant other, uh, living with you and, you know, you, your network doesn't experience a lot of congestion, I mean, maybe it's not for you. It's, 
you know, just experiment around with it. Think about your situation and decide whether or not you should use it. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If you guys did find it helpful and you did enjoy it, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and uh, that way you see more videos from me in the future. I'm going to continue to do sort of these one-off videos um, because I, the, my main thing, which is stream theory, takes a lot of research, a lot of editing, and just a lot of time to do. And so, you know, these sorts of videos that are a little bit shorter uh, and a little bit more compact, uh, we'll be making, uh, I'll be making a lot more of them because, you know, that way I'm still sort of providing value while I'm gearing up for, you know, the big thing, which is, which is stream theory. So anyways, yeah, if you enjoyed it, go ahead and uh, subscribe for some more. And if you ever want to chat about anything at all, I do stream live on Twitch every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday from 6 to 9 p.m. EST. So just pop into the chat and talk to me about anything. I love having people in there. We do, uh, we're going, we're going through the Zelda series right now. Uh, just beat Link's Awakening, uh, Saturday, actually, Saturday night. It was a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, we do, um, things like beatboxing and, uh, it's just a really good time. Just a really good time. So definitely come by if you're interested. I guess I'll see you guys later. Stay crazy, all right? Oh, I'm gonna try that one more time. Oh, damn! <laughs> Did it, did it work? <laughs>